Welcome to Seashorn Vlog, and I'm currently in the Hyatt London City East, near Aldgate Tube Station, near the City of London, and I'm going to show you around. So let's have a quick look at the lobby. We'll do a room tour, I'll show you the breakfast, and I'll show you the rooftop bar. let's check it out so as you come in you don't need to put this anywhere on the wall there's no slots or anything in this hotel but you've got light switches as soon as you come in these ones are for the bathroom these ones are for the main room you've got your security lock and your emergency escape and you can see I'm right at the end of the corridor so hopefully it's gonna be nice and quiet as you come into the room you've got the bathroom to the left we'll come back to that and the wardrobe to the right with a floor almost to the ceiling mirror a shelf up there some shelves here we've got tea and coffee making facilities a safe and then down at the bottom we do have a fridge which by default is turned off so it is warm but you can turn it on and then in the wardrobe with the sliding door you have all of the hangers an iron and board and an iron and then a sliding door although it doesn't really close anything so I'm not sure what the point of that is you've also got a sliding door for the bathroom which actually does close the bathroom so that one's handy and then the bathroom itself is quite reasonable so there is the sink and the unit with the towels tissues and soap Oh, so there are a couple of glasses, a nice big mirror with a light, toilet of course, flushes, and there is a hook there for your towels, and there is the shower. I will tell you whether the shower is any good once I've used it. You get your bottles of soap, that looks pretty decent, although it's a bit wonky for some reason. We'll come back out into the main room, so this is a really big bed. I think that's probably a king size. There is side tables uh, and each side table has a three pin socket and an old style USB along with a phone. Hair dryer is underneath there. Lots of pillows. We do have on the other side an alarm clock. I hope nobody set that. It has old style USBs inside it and the same socket light switches there's lots of lights in this room there's a little sofa in the corner with a table that is actually pretty comfortable and then you have a desk with another chair there's a bin just down there more sockets and old style USBs there some complimentary water and a big mirror nobody needs to see me we'll see how dark the room gets but this is the view from this room not bad and then you also have luggage rack and a very large TV. The bed does seem pretty hard initially, so we'll see what that's like after I've slept in it. I will let you know. I'm here for three nights, so a good amount of time to experience the bed and the shower and, and the facilities in the hotel. There is a restaurant on the lower ground floor, which is where reception is. Breakfast is included in my rate. And there's also a, a bar down there and a rooftop bar, which is close today 
but open tomorrow. So we'll check that out as well. The hotel does do room service, but we won't be making use of that. There's lots of bars, lots of restaurants, lots of cafes and shops all around here. We're near Br Brick Lane, so lots of good Indian food. We're near Whitechapel, so there's a nice market, uh, and there's lots of other things fairly nearby. The tube's pretty close as well, only a couple of minutes walk, maybe four or five minutes, to get you right into the centre of London in ten minutes. So it's a really, really good location in the city of London or like just the outskirts of the, the city of London. But I'm going to take you now tomorrow morning for breakfast. I've just had breakfast downstairs in the Hyatt and I have to say that was a really really good breakfast a really good selection not too much but the quality was there as well and the restaurant itself it's very what's the word nice maybe that's not the word it is a nice place nice and easy comfortable good decoration I don't know what the word is that I'm looking for, but it, it's nice. Anyway, a, a nice restaurant for your evening meal or your breakfast. The bar area that's just outside that restaurant, that you can obviously use it any time out for the lobby or as part of the restaurant, is, is pretty good too. But now, I'm going to head up to the rooftop bar and we'll grab a drink up there. end of the hotel tour so I've showed you everything that the hotel has to offer and I even found the fitness room which was a little bit tricky to find it's down right next to the restaurant in between the lobby bar and the, the restaurant that's where the door to the fitness room is I've, I've been thinking what are the pros and cons goods and bads about this hotel and the hotel doesn't really have any negatives the pillows weren't that great the shower could have been more powerful that's probably about it negative wise but it's got lots of pros it's in a really good location if you want to be near the city or near the Tower of London. The price was reasonable. It was £150 per night. But for a slightly but for a better hotel than a travel lodge, which isn't that much cheaper in this area. And breakfast is included as well. And the breakfast is fantastic. The, the quality and the selection is really, really good. I'm sure the restaurant on an evening is, is pretty good as well, but I never tried that. Both bars are really good, especially that rooftop bar. That's that's a really cool place to hang out. Also in the location, loads of restaurants and bars around here and things to do like the boom bar as well if you want to go and do like your darts and activities and axe throwing and all, all that kind of stuff. That's all pretty close. And you've got markets really nearby um, as well. The bed was pretty comfortable. The pillows, not to my not to my taste, but the bed itself was like a medium firm mattress with a nice fluffy soft quilt. And the room was really, really dark as well, for the most part, and quiet, and the temperature was spot on as well. Uh, and the water in the, the shower was hot. So what more can you ask for? Lots of sockets around the room, lots of places to charge your, your phones and any other devices, and the light switches, lots of them scattered around the room as well, so you never had to go far to turn all of the lights off, which in some hotels, you have to go and find that master switch to get that one extra light off. But in this one, absolutely fine. So I'd highly recommend this hotel as a good base to stay if you're ever in London. 
And that's this review. So I'll see you in the next video. Keep making memories. I'll catch you later.